How to set up your first WordPress blog on stable host from scratch. On this video, I will demonstrate you how to set up a WordPress blog from purchasing a hosting plan, appointing the correct DNS value, installing a WordPress blog, and get a SSL cert set up correctly. If you haven't already signed up with stable host, feel free to check out a review video I made on them. I will put the link on the description box. Here, on Stablehost's homepage, you are provided the cheapest shared hosting plan at $1.75 with the 50% discount included. But this plan limits to host only a single website. If you're looking to host more website, you may consider other plan as well. Click sign up now. You will be redirected to a page that requests you to either register a domain name with them or transfer a domain name to them or use an already existing domain where you purchased it somewhere else. Since Stable Host offer a free domain name for purchase of any hosting plan, you may register one yourself by entering any desired domain name here. It could be, this is my first website and I am dedicated to work forward to my goal.com. Click search for domain if it's available. Add to the cart. But since me myself I already had a domain name, so I will choose the third option. Proceed to the next page, then, decide how long would you like to host with them. Though I always recommend pay monthly because most hosting will move you to a lower spec server over the time. But the coupon stable host provided is valid only for first invoice. Remove SSH access. If you have no idea what was that about, SSH access were made for nerds. Configure it's the sites with Linux coding. Most of us don't use it, so I will remove it. Anyway, I will show you the price I've paid for. $10.80. I was lucky enough to get a 80% off coupon on Black Friday sales, that means I'm paying roughly 90 cents per month. Double check the items in your cart, if everything is fine go to the next page and check out. In a while later, you will receive an email about your web hosting details. Including some instruction for first timer from stable host. Save it, it is important. Now then, click on the link on the email. Enter the credential provided. This is the cPanel, a web control panel. Then, look for the WordPress icon, and click on it. Select either HTTP or HTTPS, either one. We will force it to HTTPS later. Select a domain you would like to install WordPress on. Remove this word, WP, if you want to register WordPress on root domain. Then, continue configure it the setting here like changing the site name, description, username, selecting a WordPress theme, etc. Click install when everything is done. By the way, there are thousands if not, millions of free theme available on WordPress. If you haven't installed it now you can do it later on the WordPress admin panel. The installation is done. The second link with wp-admin is the link to WordPress admin panel. Bookmark the link in case you forget. The next step is to change the DNS of your domain name. If you already have a domain register along with stable host, you may skip this part. If register your domain elsewhere, like on GoDaddy or Namecheap, follow my footsteps. I will be using my own domain I registered on Namecheap as an example. Open up the email we received from stable host earlier. Copy the name server value provided. Change the basic DNS to custom DNS. Paste the value into the boxes. Click the tick to confirm. After about 15 minutes or probably an hour later, your site is up and ready to go. Enter the domain name on the browser. It should be ready now. This is the WordPress blog, an excellent site. On your site URL, add a suffix of wp-admin. You will be redirected to the WordPress admin login page. Enter the username and password you've entered earlier. Welcome. Now we will have to fix the SSL issue. Back to cPanel. Click, let's encrypt. By right, the SSL cert are installed automatically, but do it just for safety precaution, tick the boxes here, and click issue. It takes a while, and it should be installed by now. Back to the WordPress admin panel. On the left hand side, click the word plugin. On the empty box here, type really simple SSL, or just SSL. Click install now beside really simple SSL. Then click the blue button activate. You should be redirect to the plugin page then, click go ahead, activate SSL. Your site now secured with SSL, 
it will now force redirect to the HTTPS version now. Finally, if you have any question drop me a comment. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.